Hi there, Interghost here, and today I am going to do a quick gameplay, short review on Cauldron on the ZX Spectrum. Uh, this is on the Cauldron 1 and 2 cassette, uh, so you've got one game on one side and one game on the other. And this is a game I used to have back in the day. Um, I used to have the first one, never had the second one, so it'd be interesting to see what the second one's like after I've played this one. Basically you are a witch and you have to fly around shooting things like pumpkins and bats and that sort of thing. So uh, let's get on and have a look at it. So here we are with Cauldron. We're playing on the uh, Sinclair 2 joystick. So press 4 to start the game. That's very um, nostalgic, that bit there. So you start off in your house. you got your lives are the hags at the top. What's that? 8 lives. And you've got magic. I'm on 99%. Every time something crashes into you, your magic goes down. Or if you shoot your broomstick, you use magic. But you use up less magic shooting than if something hits you. So the thing is, is try not to shoot unless something gets in your way. And you can only land on those little hash pad bits down the bottom there. You see that black and green? You can land and take off from there. Now you need different colour keys to get into the different colour doors. <coughs> um, I'm not sure if it's randomly generated or if it's um, there's a map to this game. Ghostbusters. Going over the graveyard, so we've got some ghosts. I think we've got bats, ghosts, seagulls, uh, pumpkins, and like these blue teeth things which come out of plants. I'm not sure what they are. So I need a blue key for that. I haven't got any keys at the moment. You have to collect up ingredients to get the golden broom. Um, when I get to a safe place, I'll uh, read the instructions to you. Basically, there's a little poem in the instruction book that tells you what you need to do. Are we safe there? Yep. So I'll just get the instructions it says. I'll just read it out. Cauldron 1. Hearken, witches everywhere. Take the challenge if you dare. Tomorrow night it's Halloween, when only one shall be witch queen. Six ingredients thou must take, and in the cauldron boil and bake. Juice of toad, eye of newt, wing of bat and hermlock root. Mouldy piece of splintered bone found deep in a musty tomb. Molten lava cooled a while, taken from the smoking isle. Then the spell shall be at hand to rid the pumpkin from the land. And then underneath it says, I think this is only because it's on a two, two tape box. And so it came to pass that the witch remained the golden broomstick and rid the land of all the pumpkins except one turn the page if you dare for cauldron two awaits you there so yeah so we have to collect up all the uh different ingredients Ooh, crashed into him there's a blue key we need that the only annoying thing is when you're down on the ground the bats come for you and take loads of life off, see? So you've got the blue key, get back in the air before those bats start coming out. If you press up when you're on the ground and you're not on that launch pad, you lose a life. So here's the pumpkins and the blue teeth, you might see them in a minute. Pumpkin, there they are, blue teeth things coming out the ground. Oh yeah, and there's lava as well, when you go over the volcanoes. So we should have seagulls. Deadly seagulls. If you live in a seaside town like I do, then you will know that seagulls are deadly. Especially if you're holding an ice cream or some chips. So the graphics are pretty good on this, considering it's quite a um, early spectrum game. They're very clear. There's no sort of there's the lava. Well, there's not much sort of color clash. They've kept the colors quite separate, which is nice. Hopefully I can get into one of these doors in a minute and I can show you what it looks like inside. It's like a platform level. Red door. 
Like I said, I'm not sure if the uh, map changes every time. <clears throat> I think it might do. I had a little practice on it earlier and I didn't get the blue key straight away, so I'm guessing the maps do change. So maybe sometimes it's uh, a lot harder than others. Another red door. I find staying at the top of the screen helps you avoid a lot of the uh, creatures coming at you. We keep going over the mountains. Hopefully I'll find a blue door soon. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, I used to have Cold Room 1, but I never actually had it on, uh, oh, there's a purple key, never actually had it on a proper cassette. I had a, uh, a special copy, which uh, my uncle recorded onto a blank cassette for me. Got on it. Um, but yeah, never actually, oh, there you go, that's a life lost. She goes crazy, look. Yeah, never actually had Cauldron 2, so it'd be interesting to see what that one was like after all these years. I finally get to play the second Cauldron game. Pretty sure I didn't complete this as a kid. Didn't complete many Spectrum ga games back in the day. Um, I don't think they were really play tested because a lot of them were almost impossible to complete. Or the ones which are possible take a hell of a lot of practice and as a kid you didn't want to waste all your time playing one game oh, let's get in this door um, yeah we used to just play a game for 10 minutes and then go on to the next one there we go look there's the um the frog all you've got is jump so oh, am I going to get up there Oh, I got it. Lost a life doing it. But that was almost impossible to get hold of. I don't know if it says anywhere what ingredients you picked up. I've got, got two scrolls at the top of the screen, but nothing's sort of come up on it. Hopefully that was uh, an item collected. Did my score go up? I didn't really notice. I have to have a look next time I pick one up. Oh, there's a red key hidden in the tree, look. Can you see that one down the bottom? Oh, let's see if I can get over there without the bats killing me. Get off. Do shove it. See, this is bad design, I think, because you've got no sort of weapons or anything on the ground. Oh, there's another life gone. Did I? Oh, I think I took off too early. That was an error. Schoolboy error. Taken off before you run the launch pad. God. You actually forget how much these um, joysticks hurt your hands. Let's see. Oop, get off me. Let's see what happens when you get back in the house. See if I've got that toad or frog or whatever it is. Do you get. Oh, yes, I have. Down there, bottom right. Nice one. Oh, you would have thought they'd um, give you some health back. So yeah, I got the frog. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, crash. Yeah, typical. Green door. Green key is the only key I haven't got. So have I done a full loop then to get back to that house? If so, where's the green key? Oh, dodged him. Any green key there? No. Landing pad. Back into the uh, Ghostbusters graveyard. I suppose nowadays, oh, there's a blue door, let's try that one. They would probably just scroll 
the screen rather than do screen for screen. Look at them all. Like I've opened the gates of Zool and they're all coming in the middle. Get in there. Right, so how do I get through that wall? Oh, not like that. Uh, this is where I'm going to lose all my lives, obviously. Do you have to walk through that wall? Or what do you have to do? Answers on the postcard. Oh man, that is... Hmm. No. Oh. Thy quest has failed. Do not dismay. Thou may succeed another day. Reach the pumpkin's deadly room and win thyself the golden broom. Thy score is 2,430. There we go. Like with a lot of Spectrum games, um, if you get to a certain bit, you lose all your lives. But there we go. Good game. Cauldron on ZX Spectrum. Thanks for watching.